We are here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, joined today by Cheryl McPhillips. Cheryl is NASA's Commercial Crew Program Partner Manager for the Sierra Nevada Corporation. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, as part of the Commercial Crew Program Integrated Capability, or CCICAP, NASA recently awarded $212.5 million to Sierra Nevada Corporation to keep things rolling and moving ahead. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, well, um, there was a competition and Sierra Nevada was uh, one of the three that was selected and so um, they're planning to further develop their Dream Chaser system, which is a, a lifting body, which makes it kind of uh, have a little bit more pizzazz maybe than some of the other um, vehicles. It also has some uh, green technology propellants that are new that haven't been used before by NASA in any um, space, human space, spacecraft. So um, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, it, it is exciting. And you are based here at Kennedy, and that is That's the home right. of the Commercial Crew Program. Um, what were you doing prior to, uh, to joining the Commercial Crew Program team? Um, prior to joining Commercial Crew, I was working on Orion. Um, the manned spacecraft that's going to do the exploration. And I also um, worked space station before that. And then eons ago when I started here, I worked space lab. So now in your, in your new role as the uh, partner manager for Sierra Nevada, what, what roles do you have? Uh, well, basically, I'm the liaison between NASA and Sierra Nevada. So I'm kind of the communication um, conduit, if you will, between the two. Uh, I try to make sure that Sierra Nevada is successful and that anything that NASA has that they need, um, I try to advocate for them to get it. Um, and also then I try to communicate back to NASA exactly what Sierra Nevada is doing, where their issues are, where their successes are, and, ho and how they're progressing. So after the award of the uh, CCI cap recently, did, did you hold some kickoff meetings? Yes, just last week we had our first kickoff meeting um, out in um, Louisville, Colorado. Um, so we, we discussed their whole plan to go from where they are today on their design to uh, crewed orbital flight. Um, you know, one of the new aspects that uh, that's NASA has undertaken in this whole commercial crew program is the Space Act Agreement. Um, and can you tell us a little bit more about how that works for, for you, for NASA, and well, for the company? Well, the Space Act Agreements um, are for public purpose. Basically, it's two parties coming together um, to, uh, for a mutual goal. Um, NASA's goal is to promote um, a commercial space transportation system and Sierra Nevada's goal is again t they want to have their dream chaser um, flying astronauts or even tourists or even doing other types of research in space so we come together NASA with some money and um, the uh, Sierra Nevada Corporation with a design and hardware and further it towards the mutual goal of flying humans in space. So you, um, in your role as the partner manager, you're sort of an advocate for the company and for NASA. You're, you're somewhat embedded in Sierra Nevada? Correct. I, I have um, a person out, uh, Valen Thorne, that's out in uh, Louisville as my resident office, so I'm lucky that way, but I am traveling a lot out to Louisville to be, to be with Sierra Nevada. With the, um, with the Space Act Agreement in place, um, Sierra Nevada and the other companies um, have a series of milestones that they must meet in order to um, make the monetary uh, milestone gains that they're looking for. Correct. Um, can you tell us how that's all laid out and set up for Sierra Nevada? For Sierra, we have nine milestones. We just had our first one last week. Um, then we have uh, two safety review milestones that will be coming up um, and an uh, integrated system baseline review, which kind of says this is, this is where the system is right now. It's, it's uh, past the preliminary design review phase that we refer to. Um, so we're going to get a baseline review and say this is how the hardware is, and then they'll go from there towards their critical design review, which is usually considered like 90% complete. Um, other major milestones they have, um, they have their engineering test article, which they're going to drop from a helicopter. I don't know if you saw pictures of it during CCDev2. They flew um, up, up, up below a helicopter. Um, anyhow, they're going to drop that in November um, and do some uh, test landings. So that's a full-size mock-up. You mentioned CCDev2. Um, Sierra Nevada has been a partner with NASA through that element as well. So that's, they're not brand new. No. Is there a, they're kind of a, a comfort level growing between uh, the company and NASA? Um, yes, I think we learned a lot during the CCDev2 phase. We learned that um, you know sometimes we had different definitions that were, were called out in the milestones. The milestones have entrance and exit criteria that they have to meet in order to get paid for that milestone. And there were cases where we thought the milestones, the entrance and exit criteria stood for different things. So we've redefined those and we're now um, 
trying to talk up front before the milestone and clear any expectations up before the milestone. Well, there's a lot of excitement that, that is growing uh, between NASA and all these companies. This is a real exciting time uh, with the commercial partners. Can you sense the excitement uh, uh, from your role with NASA? Oh, well, so well, I'm, very, I'm very excited to be working with Sierra Nevada and, um, and to be back around some hardware. You know, since the shuttle retired, it's been a little, a little uh, depressing around here. So it's good to be back with some flight hardware that's being built and to be with the company. And, and last week when I was out there, I was talking to one of the engineers for Sierra Nevada, and he was very excited about his uh, actuator that is the hinge that connects their body flap to their space plane. And um, it was like he was talking about his child. He was just so excited. Well, they are a, a unique company in, in this uh, commercial crew program in that they have the uh, lifting body, the HL-20 lifting body that, uh, or it's based on NASA's HL-20. And, uh, and it's also somewhat reminiscent then of the shuttle and the fact that it lands. Yeah. Um, I don't think they like to be called the little shuttle. So <laughs> no, no. But uh, but how does that um, you know how does that make you feel since you have been around flight hardware and shuttle hardware for so many years? Well, it, it I I love to be around the hardware. You know, if I'm having a hard day, I used to always go down to the uh, to the space station hardware in the SSPF and and walk around the hardware just to kind of lift my spirits. So it's good to be able to be around some flight hardware again. Well, when you're when you're out um, and you're talking to your friends and family, how do you describe your job? Um, well, I describe my, my job as working on the next space plane to take NASA, NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. Great. Cheryl, thank you very, very much for being here today. Well, thank you.